Hello students and welcome back to the course. So in this video or lecture we will be going in an overview about the properties menu in the Visual Studio platform. So uh, in the previous lessons we talked about the toolbox and the most important lessons uh, we talked about the solution explorer menu. In this, in this video or lesson we will be talking about the properties window which is one of the most important three menus or lists in the Visual Studio IDE or the Visual Studio platform. So it's simple and easy for some of you, but it's not for the rest of you. Just watch along and good luck. So what is the properties menu? Menu. The properties menu is basically a menu that it has uh, some options or that it ha basically it's controlling the 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 tools that we have in the in the forum or in the project. So for example, we have this forum which is forum one. We have some tools in it like the picture box, the label, the text, the text box, the text box, and also the radio button. Here's the radio button. Here's the check box. We have the combo box and so on. We have basically a, a bunch of tools. So we can use the properties window with or the properties menu from here to change the properties of each tool in the project and. Uh, so uh, and we can also customize the menu like we can rearrange or reorder the properties in a categorized way like the properties related to data the properties related to design the properties related to focus the properties related to layout and so on and we can also rearrange it or reorder it reorder it uh, depending on alphabetical arranging like from A to Z order so that's what I like. I like it to be from A to Z order because it's easy to get to the to the common to the common like to the common properties we need. So for example, when it comes to the text box, when we click on it and then we go to the properties window, we can find that sometimes we will be in need to change the font. Like the font, for example, we can try it out. The font size, the text box will get bigger because it ex it's expecting that the font inside the text box will be bigger so we can also change for example the cursor we can change the back color for example to highlight it will be blue we c so basically you can read it along and go on from a to z properties some of the properties is basically just an option property so you can just pick from one of the option like when it comes to the color when it comes to the font size and so on but in the like in some of the properties it's not an option but you need to write down something like when it comes for the size for example you will not have an option you need to write down the mac like the customized size you want when it comes to the width, height, and anything. Also the tab index, the location, and some other tools. So that's basically what the properties is all about. It's just uh, controlling the tool, the tools we have in the project, their properties, like their color, font size, font color, font type, uh, their positioning, their size, like their alignment, right, like from right to left, left to right, in the middle, and so on. Also, the multi-line for the some properties like the text box and the list box and so on. Also, the, max, the maximum length, the margin, the locket, the location, the lines, and many other tools and many other properties. Sorry. So that's it. In one in one sentence, it the properties window or the properties menu is controlling the tools we have in the project. That's it in a very simple way. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and it was simple and easy for you. Share it with your friends so we can all share the knowledge and pass it to others. So thank you so much for watching and good luck. I wish you all the best and see you in the next lecture. Bye.